A Utah woman who wrote a children's book about grief after her husband died last year is now being charged with his murder. Corey Richens is accused of having poisoned her husband. Eric Richens with fentanyl. Nick Watt has a report. My husband passed away unexpectedly last year, so it's March 4th was a one year anniversary for us and um, he was 39. It completely took us all by shock. Corey Richens promoting her children's book, Are You With Me? when it came out just weeks ago. Dedicated to my amazing husband and wonderful father and written, says the blurb, to create peace and comfort for children who have lost a loved one. Tonight, Richens is behind bars, accused of murdering her husband by serving him a drink, a Moscow mule laced with fentanyl. He had three boys that he loved more than anything. It's been sad without Eric. He loved to hunt, loved to be outside. Very honest guy, and he was a great friend. Eric Richens died at the family's home in small town Utah early one March morning last year. According to court documents, his wife Corey says she served him a drink in bed the night before, before going to sleep with one of their kids who was having a night terror. She says she woke around 3 a.m. and went back to her bed. She felt Eric and he was cold to the touch. That is when the defendant called 911. The medical examiner found that Eric Richens had around five times the lethal dose of fentanyl in his system and it had been ingested orally. Investigators seized the family's phones, which provided a breakthrough. Apparently, text messages were discovered between the wife and a drug dealer. This is what authorities say went down. In late 2021 or early 22, Corey Richens texted that dealer asking for prescription pain medication for an investor who had a back injury. About two weeks later, Corey Richens texted again, said that her investor wanted something stronger and asked for some of the Michael Jackson stuff. The defendant asked specifically for fentanyl, which was delivered around February 11th. After Valentine's Day dinner at home, Eric Richens became very ill. Eric told a friend that he thought his wife was trying to poison him. A couple of weeks later, she got more fentanyl from the dealer. And six days later, on March 4th, 2022, Eric was found dead of a fentanyl overdose.